are there secrets that have yet to be revealed about 9-11? A lot of people think so, right? But then there's a question of, well, how big secrets are these and how important are they? Well, tonight, there are hackers. These guys call themselves the Dark Overlord. They are threatening to leak what they say are exclusive documents relating to the September 11th attacks. They say that unless their ransom demands are met, they will publish what they call the juiciest secrets that a government has to offer. Here's a bit of their announcement that they made. This is uh, something they made online yesterday. What we'll be releasing is the truth. The truth about one of the most recognizable incidents in recent history, and one which is shrouded in mystery with little transparency and not many answers. Now let's get more on this information, more on this story. We're going to go to NRS correspondent Michelle Greenstein. She's been working on this for uh, throughout the course of the day, actually. And uh, I guess, what kind of evidence do they say they have that can be so damning? Well, they say they have exclusive documents from the 9-11 litigation and investigation that includes sensitive information from companies like insurance companies, law firms, they name them, Hiscox, Systems, Lloyds of London, Silverstein Properties. Now, here's what they say. When a big event like 9-11 happens, yep. the litigation involves sensitive security information from the likes of the FBI, the CIA, the DOD, the DOJ. So they're saying such agencies will release temporarily release this information to firms involved in litigation on the strict demand that they're destroyed after use. Hmm. Now, the Dark Overlord says that errors were made here and that many of these documents were not properly protected and not destroyed. So they're saying, we hacked these guys, like solicitor firms, investment banks, and These such. guys being the, uh, the, the, private the insurance companies, companies exactly. the legal companies. Global right. insurers, investment banks, right. things like that. And they're saying, look, if you're implicated in these documents, please pay us, or we will leave these documents into the public domain, except they didn't quite put it like that. Here's what they said. Hmm. A message to the companies directly involved to include the airlines, government agencies, the dozens of solicitor firms, the insurers, and the many others. This is a message directly to you. Pay the f up, or we're going to bury you with this. If you continue to fail us, we'll escalate these releases by releasing the keys. Each time a layer is opened, a new wave of liability will fall upon you. So I'm trying to understand what this could be. So I imagine lawyers are litigating. They don't want their clients to pay the claims, obviously. So there's a conversation about who was really at fault, who should have known what. So I guess in those, in those emails that they exchanged, in the documents that they exchanged, there was a lot of information about what brought the building down, what could have brought the buildings down, for example. We that's, don't know, but boy, it sounds like this stuff could so be nefarious, claiming, right? Exactly. That's what they're saying is that there's insurance information that is very damning. But we should understand that this group, it's not the first time they've done this type of thing. Yeah. Um, this is kind of their MO. They will entice journalists to cover these alleged breaches and then use that coverage as p to put pressure on these companies. So they've been doing this for a while. In June of 2016, they advertised the hacking of a lot of insurance records and they demanded ransom for it. They also hacked an orthopedic a clinic in Atlanta, mm -hmm. a cancer service in Indiana, an investment bank in Los Angeles. In that case, they did not get the money they wanted, so they released a bunch of non-disclosure agreements and contracts. But what they're most famous for is their extortion campaign against Netflix. This is where they mm -hmm. breached a production company and released a bunch of episodes of Orange is the New Black that had not been released on Netflix yet. Here, the Dark Lord was paid, but the production company cooperated with the FBI, assisted them in their investigation, and so that was a breach of the pseudo contract with the dark overlord do, do, do they lose a little bit of credibility when they come out and say that it's all about money because mm. if if this really is important information by the way i'm all for finding out exactly what the hell happened with 9 11. i want to know what the saudis did i want to right. know what anybody did and i want to know who's responsible right but isn't this, if this is really important information, shouldn't they share it with the American people so, rather than say you got to pay me a certain amount of money? Right, why the whole, whole wait and see. So their whole thing, they actually don't share that sentiment with you that you just want the truth. They don't care. They explicitly say, hey, we're not hacktivists. They just want money. So their silence is for sale, which is why it's possible that the magnitude of this alleged breach is being exaggerated. Mm. They just want those implicated to come forward mm. and pay 
pay them so that they don't have to. I mean, they even advertised to me, like when I reached out for comment about this, they said, oh, we'll give you exclusive access to these documents and then we won't release them to the public. If, if I were to pay them what they asked for, mm -hmm. they don't know me. They, I could not be planning to release those documents to the public. They were willing to sell those documents to me. So, so it's all about money so, for them. So, yeah, it's, so at least the way they ascribe this or themselves, mm -hmm. it really is all about the money. Right. Yeah. Okay. Michelle Greenstein, as usual, great job. Good Thank reporting. You. Thank you. Let's stay on top of this. We'll okay. do.